What's happening, Puff? I'll be back to you if JD ain't had enough. Dupree, king of the pain. If you ask me, baby. Ooh, so you already you know what it fun? is. It's your boy laid back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Diddy, Cat Williams, Jaguar Wright, you up to bat. Bah. your boy laid back welcome back to my channel hey two things we got to do you got to hit that subscribe button i'm drinking this water you already know what it is man elevate more in 2024 elevate more in 2024 make sure you hit the like button make sure you hit the notification bell stay up to date with all the videos don't forget to hit the subscribe button man but we back now before y'all get on my case i don't know what's in the videos before i watch it so all I know is this is Cat Williams and Jaguar Wright sit down on Diddy's arrest. So I'm just expecting they're gonna get a viewpoints on it. But, 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 if you make it to the end of this one, you a real one for real, man. Drop that in the comments if you make it to the end. But let's see what we got. Fire Squad, what's popping? Let's get it. I want the perk walk. I want the twisty ties. I want him on the ground. I want people putting his head into the car. I want that. That's what they did to the kids. What's happening, Puff? I'll be back to you if JD ain't had enough. Dupree, king of the pedophiles. If you ask me, baby. So if you've been following all the drama surrounding Diddy, then you know Cat Williams and Jaguar Wright have been warning us for years about Diddy's shady dealings. Come and on, now man. that his recent arrest has gone down, they're sitting down to give us even more insider info. So word on the street is that Cat and Jaguar will soon sit down for a joint interview and oh. reveal even more dark stories about the entertainment industry. Now, If they sit down for a joint interview, on a scale of one to 10, what you think that's gonna be? On a scale of one to 10, that shit gonna be a 2,500. That's gonna be crazy. Now Diddy's arrest has people talking, but according to Jaguar and Cat, this is just the beginning. Word is, they've got even more tea to spill, not only about Diddy, but about his industry friends. And y'all know that Cat and Jaguar don't hold back. And Jaguar in particular has never shied away from naming names. She's been making waves for the past few years, calling out not only Diddy, but also people like Jay-Z, Will and Jada Smith, and a whole why they just blur out bruh br name and face? We're going to go back. I know what the name is. I ain't going to say it if they ain't going to say it. She is. Has never shied away from naming names. She's been making waves for the past few years, calling out not only Diddy, but also people like Jay-Z, Will and Jada Smith, and a whole list of That's other A-listers. She's been saying for years that these industry elites have been getting away with sketchy things. And now that Diddy's facing serious legal trouble, it looks like she may have been right all along. What's got everyone buzzing, though, is the possibility that this interview between Cat and Jaguar is about to blow the lid off of even more scandal. Like, who's next? Jay-Z? Cat and Jaguar seem to know way more than they've spilled so far. And it sounds like more names might be going down with Diddy. He's the wild. <laughs> they procured them to do <sighs> damage and wild shit. Like I, it was something like that I said. Why don't nobody ever want to believe me? All right, let's talk first about Cat Williams because this man has been warning us for years about those alleged Hollywood rituals involving young victims and some high profile monsters in the entertainment industry. Now we all remember when Cat caused a whole storm on Shannon Sharp's club Shay. I'm going to be covering this stuff, man. So just just lock in. I, some of the stuff we go do your own research is what I got to say. But I'm here learning just like y'all learning. So Let's just go. Shay back in January, right? He spilled about how Diddy tried to take him shopping, which is basically Hollywood code for some shady offers. And Cat made it clear he had to turn down multiple deals because they came with some serious strings attached. 
Mm. But trust me, it gets even darker than that. Offering grown folks some sketchy deals is one thing. And sure, people turn Diddy's little shopping trip story into a running joke about certain industry men, allegedly doing what they needed to do to achieve some success. But let's be real, when these offers start targeting the young and vulnerable, it's no longer a laughing matter. And that's mm -hmm. exactly where Kat drew the line. He talked all about it during his interview with Joe Rogan. But for whatever reason, that interview didn't blow up the same way his Club Shay Shay one did. In his chat with Rogan, Kat touched on a lot of things. But one part that had fans really backing him up was when he started talking about those rumored demon worshiping rituals in Hollywood. Yep, Kat went there, y'all. And he wasn't just throwing out wild accusations. He was connecting the dots between some very shady behavior in the industry. Whole industries can be built upon your ability to know how certain things are going to hit certain people. And this was before we called things promotion and marketing. Mm -hmm. Hollywood is not really there to entertain you. Like, that's great that that happens. But um, propaganda is something that is important to all civilization. Now, everybody's yeah. like, oh, he keeps talking about people wearing dresses. No, it's that not. It's, a weird thing. it's not like that. T look at it from a different way. Look at it. T show me one person that ever wore a dress in Hollywood unsuccessfully. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's how you understand what a ritual <laughs> wow. is. Mm. So 20 years ago, I knew that transgenders was going to be a thing. It wasn't because I was a prophet. It's just I had gotten so much information that I understood the that pattern. things are secular. So I understood that the earliest I had seen that word transgender was um, Baphomet, the transgender. Um, and so... I knew that the, in the ritual of Baphomet, the transgender, to show allegiance to him, you had to kiss his ass ring. Really? And it said both of those things. So I knew that both of those things would become popular in the future. So while a lot of Hell folks laughed off Kat's claims, there are plenty of people out here who believe he's actually onto something when it comes to those Hollywood rituals. Things get even darker when you consider that months before Cassie's lawsuit even dropped, celebrity medium Sloan Bella went viral on YouTube with a video where she claimed that some of these powerful industry men were allegedly harvesting energy through dark rituals involving young people. Mm. Sloan even said that Diddy's ex Kim Porter had supposedly seen some of these disturbing disturbing rituals firsthand at his infamous parties. And Kim mm. was reportedly about to put it all out there in a tell-all book before, well, we know what happened. About Jeez. what she witnessed, and they are dumbing it down to the fact that they think that P. Diddy is on some kind of spree for removing people who speak about this because he's gay? That is not the issue. That's not what we're talking about. There are gay people, but what we're talking about here is ritualistic sexual deviancy used to harness energy of a human being. Mm. Ritualized, thought out, planned specifically to rip the person down and hide behind their energy. Hell but no. what if we're talking about a religion that hides behind the energy of the most innocent on this planet who are lit up energetically because it wow. hasn't been broken. Sloan wow. Bella even brought Justin Bieber into the mix, hinting that he might have been a victim of these alleged Hollywood rituals too. According to Sloan, this could be why Justin's been looking so broken lately and that he's seemingly lost interest in making music. Over here, we know Bieber was famous as a teenager and all of that. How do you think he got that way? Because they harnessed his energy and presented him while him the self is broken. He is broken and a shell of himself because he has lost his sense of self. They stole that. That is what they wear. But just when we thought things couldn't get any wilder, an old clip of Diddy's guest appearance on Nickelodeon's All That has resurfaced on social media. And let me tell you, it's seriously bizarre. The scene has Diddy with some young stars, and it's raising more than a few eyebrows. And get this, Dan Schneider, who already has a very shady reputation, allegedly personally invited Diddy to be on that episode. It's like all the puzzle pieces are finally coming together, and 2024 
is shaping up to be the year of major exposure, just like Cat Williams said it would. Now, that episode of All That with Diddy originally aired in 2002 and features young actors Jack DeSena and Brian Hearn trying to wake up their friend, played by Shane Lyon. So first, they try dumping sour milk on him. And when that doesn't work, they turn to Diddy for advice. And let me just say, Diddy's suggestion for what to do next, you're gonna want to see this one. And he's still sound asleep. What are we gonna do? I don't know. You know, in situations like this, yeah. I always ask myself, what would P. Diddy do? Oh, uh, what would P. Diddy do? No, I don't know. Hey, let's ask him. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's up? What's up? We can't wake up Shane. You try symbols? Yep. <laughs> what about sour milk? Didn't work. Tell you what. Take this toy helicopter. Put it down his pants. All right, we'll do it. We'll do. What? Come on, put it in. What a toy helicopter. <laughs> Didn't work. He's still asleep. <laughs> Try this. <laughs> Shall I? By all means. Why would that be funny? So when this clip started blowing up online, Cat Williams wasted no time and reposted it to his Instagram stories with a caption that said, they're all in it. In other words, Cat Williams is out here giving a big I told y'all because he's been sounding the alarm about the dark side of the industry for years. And it looks like everything he's been warning us about is finally coming to light. Now let's talk about another person who's been trying to warn us about Diddy and other industry deviants, Miss Jaguar Wright. For those of you who've been keeping up with Jaguar's many experiences explosive claims, you already know she's been coming for Diddy for years. And now that he's been arrested, it looks like she's finally getting the vindication she deserves. So if you've been watching Jaguar over the past few years, you know she has never shied away from spilling tea on some of the biggest names in the music industry. She's been telling us forever that Diddy's no angel. In fact, Jaguar publicly accused Diddy and his mentor of ex-trafficking three whole years before Cassie filed her lawsuit. Right now is Sean Combs. Okay, tell us why. Tell us why. Because he's a sex trafficker. Mm. And okay. he's using music and entertainment to sex traffic. Now, is this, is this just boys, girls, adults, kids? Like, it I mean, from what I've heard from sources that I would consider reliable, it really doesn't matter. Wow. Um, I don't think sexuality is something that has anything to do with gender at this point. For Sean, I, I honestly think he's just an extreme narcissist who loves power. He loves the ability to manipulate and control people. Mm. Why? Most likely because he was victimized by his mentor mm. who loved to control people. Mm. And his mentor was Andre Rell. Tell, tell us how who was, was mentored by what I do know that name keep is that like that. Andre got passed over. Like, wow. how do you go from being the president of Uptown and losing your entire company to your intern? Like, Puff started out as wow. an intern. Jaguar has consistently claimed that Diddy's been involved in some seriously shady things. But she didn't just come for Diddy. In fact, one of her main targets has always been Jay-Z. And Jaguar has repeatedly claimed that Jay might even be worse than Diddy. Sean Carter is worse. Whoa. Whoa. After the stuff we seen uh, in the indictment, if you haven't watched my uh, my video on that, uh, it's a we go over the full indictment in detail. It's on my channel. If Jay Z is worse than Diddy, this is gonna be crazy. This is going to be crazy. Always been Jay-Z. And Jaguar has repeatedly claimed that Jay might even be worse than Diddy. Jeez. Sean Carter is worse. Uh-oh. Oh, man. He's smarter. He's patient. He's mm. not sloppy. 
Mm-hmm. Just mm-hmm. been lining up people. He calls friends and step into the side while they get hit by the guillotine for 30 years. He mm. pushed somebody I love too far. And you know who I'm talking about, bitch. We were kids. We were in our 20s. How long do you expect her to have to suffer for a bad choice of you? Yes, she's in the industry. Yes, she was put in exile. No, she wasn't perfect, but she was everything still is. So given that Jaguar has already been proven right about Diddy, we can't really dismiss her claims about Jay-Z so quickly. Who's to say she won't be proven right about him too? Just because there hasn't been a public scandal yet doesn't mean there won't be. After all, a few years ago, no one would have believed we'd see Diddy behind bars. Jaguar's been painted as this wild conspiracy theorist, but if you look at what's happening right now, she's sitting back with receipts while people are being exposed. It's like we're living in her prophecy, and she might just be ahead of the curve on more than we think. As for Jaguar's reaction to Diddy's arrest, she actually got pretty emotional about it in a recent appearance on Real Life Production. And who can blame her? People have tried to paint her as crazy and have accused her of being jealous and bitter for so long. So it must feel good to her to have finally been vindicated. Jaguar sat on the couch and see he put the boots to that girl and y'all said she was a liar and then we seen it and then y'all just said, I want my perp walk. That's all I want. The only thing that's gonna make any of this hoopla worth it is if he does a perp walk, if he gets put into a car, if he is treated like the criminal that he is on camera. See, they got all of these images leading up to the secret arrest of him having a good time and doing all of that. But when is he gonna start having a bad time? So for the victims. I've never had a good time when I go to lock up. Mm-hmm. It's always annoying. You know, every time I've been arrested for something that I didn't do, and yet nobody said, oh. but did he get arrested finally and, and, and get the book ready to be thrown at his very, very, very dancing feet. They're going to be his feet with that law book. That's how many crimes he's done. And everyone's so surprised. You know how weird that is to me? That is. That is. Y'all watch me get arrested there just for Gene, bringing Gene Deal to Dallas. I think they wanted to really silence some things that you had to say. and I know what they're afraid to tell the truth about, and they know I'm not afraid to tell it. Ooh, That's the right. problem. They're never going to admit that the reason why Sean Carter has been able to do all that he's done is because they gave him permission to do it. And everybody knew it. Cat and Jaguar's claims may have sounded outlandish at first, but the truth is starting to peek through. Diddy's arrest could just be the beginning of a much bigger unraveling in the music industry. If more of Cat and Jag's warnings turn out to be legit, who knows how many powerful figures could fall next. So y'all, keep your eyes peeled for this upcoming Jaguar and Cat interview because this saga is far from over. If Diddy's downfall proves they were right, we might need to brace ourselves for what comes next. And this could be a whole other level of drama that the industry might not be ready for. But I wanna hear from y'all, how do you feel about Cat and Jaguar having warned us about these shady industry folks for years. Who do you think will be exposed next? And how excited are you to see Cat and Jaguar spilling all their tea together? Drop your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to check out this next video. All right, so that was Cat Williams and Jaguar right sit down on Diddy's arrest coming soon. That is going to be explosive. Like I said, on a scale of 1 to 10, bro, that's going to break the internet. If they both sit down together and just put it all out there, she going in on, on Jay-Z, though. She's saying he worse than Diddy. <sighs> if this stuff play out like this, I'm going to be here covering it, and it's going to... And, and Jay-Z, he one of my favorite rappers. I can't even front so that's gonna be crazy if it does lead down that path but if you made it this far man drop real one for real in the comments man and i'll be back with more as this story develops until next time man self-love and positivity still fire squad i got you when you know it <laughs>